Hello my friend, in this video I'm going to explain why Ableton looks so bad and more importantly what you can do to actually make it look better. Ableton looks bad because the design was created to be as simple and uncluttered as possible. Because the design has remained largely unchanged for so many years, Ableton users are very familiar with the design. This also allows the Ableton team to focus development efforts and dollars on other more functional features. Now before I continue on with this video, if you'd like to follow along with the article that I've actually written for it, you can simply google why Ableton looks so bad best friends club. So there's actually three main reasons that Ableton can look bad to some people. The first one is that the team at Ableton actually focuses on functionality over form. So after reading an interview or two from the actual Ableton founders, it becomes pretty clear that what they're more focused on is how things sound and how the workflow of artists is maintained. This act of making music is way more important to them than any other visual element. And for the makers of Ableton, the focus is to be for it to be intuitive and easy software rather than pretty software. The second reason is that Ableton users are familiar with it. So no one likes change. And since around 2001, Ableton has had roughly the same kind of flat design. There's nothing more frustrating than knowing where something is and then suddenly getting an update and having it completely changed on you. So this actually happened to Fruity Loops, which came out with a drastic design change of version 12 of their software a few years back. The community was kind of a little jarred by that and it didn't go over too well. Uh, and finally, the third reason is that redesigns are expensive. So moving pre precious development efforts and time and dollars from releasing new features and rolling out new devices and that kind of thing um, over to just a redesign that's just aesthetic, it costs money and it doesn't mean that the team can actually put out higher quality features for you to use. So there's countless reasons why you might see Ableton as ugly or the look as bad. Remember that the main reason that you're using the software is to make music. But with that said, if you're going to be spending hour after hour looking at this software, it might as well look pretty good. So there's actually a couple ways that you can make this software look a little bit different and you can even make it look like other programs out there. So let's dive into these. So the first way that you could actually change the look of Ableton is actually within Ableton itself. So if you actually follow these steps right here, which are on this web page, you have to make sure Ableton Live is open, then navigate over to the preferences, select look and feel, and then there's actually a drop down where you can change the different themes. So there's a couple of different themes that are built in right there. However, there's actually more themes that you can download and install and you can even create your own. So there's this awesome website called ableton-themes.com that you can check out where you can actually download all sorts of themes that other people have actually created and made for you and then just import them into Ableton. So I go into detail on the, the blog post that I actually created here, but essentially you just pick a theme and download it and then you have to drop the theme into the specific Ableton installation folder. And on top of this, with this website, you could actually select one of the themes and then start customizing it yourself. So you can change the colors exactly how you'd like to and you don't even need to start it off from scratch. You could take a theme that maybe looks like, I don't know, Fruity Loops 12, the one that everyone didn't like, and uh, start customizing it to your heart's content. So it's pretty cool and uh, if you want to check out a video on how to do this on this page here if you google why it doesn't look so bad best friends club if you scroll down in addition to showing you all the steps that you need to take to change themes and download different themes there's actually a nice video here that explains how you can actually customize it yourself so with that said hopefully that helps answer the question of why Ableton looks so bad and now you have a couple of different ideas of what you can do to make it look a little bit better so hopefully this was helpful and I will see you in the next video see you my friend